30. Today I have a review for you guys of some software that was given to me um, by Mac X. Um, this software is called Mac X Video Converter. This software is similar to some software that I uh, showed you guys um, a, a few days ago and that Mac X was giving away for Easter. That um, a few days ago the giveaway ended up like a day or two ago, like two days ago I think. Um, the software that you got from that giveaway is right here. It's called iPad, a Mac X video, Mac X iPad video converter, and Mac X iPad DVD ripper. Um, but uh, this software right here, Mac X video converter pro, is uh, basically like an all-in-one video converter. So let's get right into it. So once you get started, once you open the application, you have a few, it shows you how it works right here. I'm going to zoom in just right here. Uh, getting started. Add file. You click right here, add file, to search your computer for the video file that you want to convert. Um, then after you have selected a video file, you come down here and select one of your options. Um, there's um, eight options. There's S2 SD video, standard definition video, um, to Apple, to HD video, high definition, to mobile, to Sony, to Microsoft, to DVD, and to uh, music. So we're going to go ahead and start over here with this option. Um, it gives you a few, a whole bunch of different types of uh, video files you have um, to convert it to. You can convert it to an AVI, an MP4, an AVC, an MPEG, WMB, sorry about my dog, um, de uh, MOV, and YouTube. Um, YouTube would just be a standard definition. Uh, YouTube video, it converts to an MP4, basically. It's just... Uh, a little different for like for example like some of these things are a little bit different I think for the YouTube version um, because of um, so it up uh, to make it uh, easier to upload I think is what that does um, and then the rest of these are just if you need like an AVI for something then you can put that you can use the AVI file because I'm pretty sure that um, for example uh, Adobe After Effects, yeah, Adobe After Effects does not um, support move files. It might, I cannot remember, um, but there's some th some file types don't aren't supported by certain applications. So if you know you needed to convert a video file to something, you could use this to convert it to a whole bunch of different types of stuff. Now for Apple, this is probably the coolest tab. Um, once if you once you select your video, you come down here, click Apple, and if you want to put you say this is like a music video that you created with your friends or something, and you want to view it on your iPad. Say you only have an iPad first generation, you'd only click this option, or you could go to this option, or if you have an iPad two, you could click the excellent quality 720p HD, and if you have an iPad three third generation. You could even go up to 1080p mid HD video quality, which is insane good, insanely good quality. Um, this is good because you have the option to custom um, customize it so that it's set uh, perfect for your device. So you don't have to like go look up. Okay, what resolution do I have to set this to so that it'll work with my iPod? Um, it just shows you exactly, like, if you have this iPad, you click this. If you have this iPad, click this. If you have this iPad, click this. It's just really nice, simple, easy to use, and it's very user-friendly, in my opinion. Um, for the iPod, under the iPod option, you have the regular iPod. Um, I think that that's, like, iPod Classic and iPad, iPod um, Nano. I think is what those are is supposed to be 
then you have all your iPod Touch um, options, uh, pretty much. That's about. Um, and since you can convert your, um, you can share your the new iP iPods with, like you can AirPlay them to, or like wirelessly stream them to a Apple TV to view what's on your iPod. You can have like TV quality videos like in very high quality um, formats on your iPod. And then uh, next tab over to iPhone uh, just gives you the, your, the different types of iPhones so that it's customized for the specific iPhone that you have. Um, next is Apple TV. Um, oops, sorry, I didn't click it. Apple TV just gives you a few different types of uh, video quality for widescreen or uh, standard screen, I guess, uh, and then resolution as well. Next, we'll go to DVD. Um, basically, D to DVD is just converting it so that it's ready to put on a DVD. To iMovie converts it to a move file, and it just um, it just is an option. I think. I mean, you can put a lot of different file types into iMovie. So it doesn't really have to. You don't have really have to click this tab, but I mean, if you're if you know you're gonna be putting it in an iMo into iMovie, you go ahead and click this. And then same thing for iTunes. If you know you're gonna be putting it in iTunes into iTunes, go ahead and just click iTunes. It's just that simple. Uh, once you, if you click iTunes, it's gonna be converting it into an MP4 basically. Um, next, uh, H to HD video. You have all the same file types as um, the SD video, except for that it's an HD option, so, you know, we'll cl click HD, um, MP4. Now, right over here, you have your resolution, um, I thought so, uh, uh, here it is. You can, uh, custom size with custom, a um, aspect ratio. Go ahead and click that, um, it gives you this option right here, these options uh, right there, or you can go to odd, uh, original size and keep aspect ratio. Um, then you know this goes right back to where it was original. Um, it has a few different other ones, HD for YouTube. So if you make your videos in HD, go ahead and click that and convert it over so that it's easy to upload to YouTube. Um, HD Move. HD WMB, HD TS, um, all of these have an HD MPEG. All of these have that same option where you just go down here after you click custom, everything over here. Like um, after you click this, you can change to what to whatever resolution you want. Uh, next tab is for mobile. This tab isn't that interesting personally. Um, because I'm not into Android, Blackberry, Nokia, um, Central, Central to PDA or to Zen. I'm not really, I don't use any of those. So, um, it's not really my, uh, thing. You can, uh, see if you have your phone, t t phone here, if your phone is listed, um, that's all I can tell you. Um, Blackberry. I'll show you a quick uh, thing down, but I'm not going to read any of them because this doesn't really apply to me. Nokia. Nokia's are pretty good phones, I have to admit. Um, not really my cup of tea, but I mean, it's whatever. More Nokia stuff. Because I forgot to click that. Um... Central, PDA. Guess you have a few different types of PDAs. Um, public displays of affection. Just kidding. Um, then a Zen. I don't actually know what that is. So, uh, whoops. Sorry about all the zooming in and out. It's just easier for me to get around because I have a dual screen. And so if I want to move, I can't just go like that. I have to go all the way over here and move like that. And it's just a pain in the butt. Okay, to Sony. All the options for Sony stuff. Under the PSP tab, you ha shows you all the different resolutions you can put on your PSP. Um, 
Next is PS3. So if you have your PS3 hooked up to a uh, box TV, or you you if you have it hooked up to a um, regular video port, like video um, things like that, they have the like the blue, uh, the white, yellow, and red like plugs that plug into your TV video cables. Um, you would if you haven't plugged into those, you would use one of these. Um, probably this one or that one it doesn't really matter whatever you prefer if you have your PS3 plugged into an HDMI port you would click this and you could change it to like depending on the resolution of your TV you could have a 1920 by 1080 or um, 1280 by 720 depending on the resolution of your screen that's about that and then to Microsoft you can turn uh, convert it for your Xbox so if you're at, same thing with the Xbox, if you haven't plugged into those um, white, yellow, and red video cables, um, you can pick whichever one of those you want. If you have your Xbox plugged into H, an HDMI port, you can um, pick between those two HDMI options. To the Zune, um, I'm not really into the Zune. And then to the Zune HD, if you, you know your Zune supports HD video. To DVD, um, you have this option. Um, down here, DVD format, um, PAL DVD or NTC, NTSC DVD. Uh, you can pick your, oops, sorry about that, uh, DVD aspect ratio. This one right here is the most common, so I just stick with that one. Of course, you can switch it over to whichever one you want. Um, I would leave it on default settings for some of this if you're a beginner. If you know what you're doing, um, then I would just, you know, Go for whatever. Go for what um, what you think it works for what you need um, or what you're going to be using it for as well. Uh, to music. This is just if you're converting your video to a audio file. So let's say, you know, you record yourself. Um, I'm just going to be blunt. Um, if you have a music video and you want the song on your iPod, you just can put the video on here and then convert, strip the audio away from the video and put the audio into iTunes and put it on your iPod. Um, that's probably what I would use it for if I was going to use it, honestly. Um, now, that goes through about all of that down there. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go up here and look at some of these other file types, I mean, other cool things. Um, we're going to check out the options, uh, target file name, um, just some uh, stuff there, Rem renaming, template, um, audio language, English, obviously, unless you know, speak something else. Um, output folder, I have it set up. Um, you can change this. I'll prom I'm going to change this to... Um, it's an output folder, so my desktop probably, and just click desktop. Um, that's you can change that to whatever you want. If you have like an external hard drive you want to put all this stuff on, that's fine too. Um, profile, um, yeah, profile settings, um, output type, iPad. You can change it to all of those: iPhone 4, Android, Nokia, BlackBerry, PDA, SP, PSP, Apple TV, iPhone, iPod, iPad. And I'm probably going to leave it, and then once, um, I have an iPad 2, so I'm going to put excellent quality for the iPad 2, um, I put file format, iPad, um, video codec, um, leave, just leave it on that or that, either doesn't really matter, I, I prefer this one, um, this is just personal settings and stuff, doesn't, it's not exactly all that important, but, you know, it's whatever, and then you can, once you, if you have a whole bunch of file lists here, you can click clear um, after the you know of course after they're done you know converting and everything or you can click one and hit remove to remove it uh, we're gonna go ahead and start I'm gonna show you a cool thing you can do with this this is one of the things that I think is the coolest thing about this software okay say you have a YouTube video of yours you don't have it or it got deleted or in your archive it got you know removed somehow this is one of my one, one of my more popular videos um, I am just going to demonstrate with this because I own the rights to this video. 
um, let's go ahead and click OK. That's a link to that video of mine. Uh, it's going to show up here. And once you've got that set up, uh, I have it set up. It's After it finishes um, output folder, it's going to be to that. Um, you would want to change it to whatever. I'm going to go ahead and click it on my desktop because that's just the easiest place for me. Um, then once you've got that video up there, you come down here and you select whatever file type you want. I'm going to convert this to a .move file. And we're going to come down here and we want it to be an HD, HD video. And we want it to be an HD move. And we're going to convert this to a, sorry about that, a custom size and keep aspect ratio. And we're going to make this a um, 1080p video. Uh, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to bump up the volume one little thing. Uh, keep that, keep that. Everything else is going to stay the same except for this. I'm going to bring it up to 192. Just a preference of mine. Um, then go ahead and click start. Now, um, this process takes a very long time because it's got to download the video first and then it's got to, um, it's only got a minute and a half, but once it's downloaded the video, it's got to convert it, which takes even longer. I have completed the process already, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cancel this and just show you the end product. Uh, go ahead and stop. Yes. Over here, if you, wherever you set it up, if you just set it up to go into a specific folder, it'll create a folder inside of that, wherever you decide to put it, um, and we'll create a folder. Um, once you've downloaded something, it goes into the download folder of the videos that you've downloaded that, and then convert it. So you know how I downloaded a video from YouTube? Well, that video is in there as an FLV file. Just says a second. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and after it's been converted, it goes. It's converted into a folder, uh, wrong one. That's the one that was just created whenever we were doing that. I think uh, here's that one. That there's one that I did um, um, yesterday because I have this as a um, iMovie project and not as an a .mu file. So I just converted it over. Um, now, if you know, if you go ahead and click play, this movie plays pretty well. Um, it looks a little pixely right now because I have it zoomed in, and then um, this isn't full screen, obviously. Sorry, it's in the preview. How um, I'm going to go ahead and turn um, the volume down, a, even though, um, um, just so you guys can hear me. Uh, there. Um, um, that's about, that's what this does. Um, that's one of the cooler things I have saw about this software is the YouTube option. I think that is a, an outstanding feature in this uh, software. Um, now I'm gonna check about how much time we got left, or how much, how long I've been going. I've been going for about 18 minutes. Um, I'm gonna cut an end to this video. Sorry guys for taking so long. Hope you guys have thought the software is pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was an, an awesome software. Um, I also have a giveaway coming up if you would like this software. Um, I'm going to create a video probably tomorrow or the next day um, giving away 10 copies of this software for the Mac uh, for free. Um, that'll be next in, in the next two days probably, one, uh, tomorrow or the next day, depending because I have finals and EOCs coming up and, and of course tests. Um, so I'll get back to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, guys.